What do you see on your yeah. property, on your ranch? So what, what we see, uh, Brian, we're a little bit north of the, uh, ex the, check the river, Got the it. border with Mexico. And what we end up seeing is we see, and, and typically what we hear about on the news is people crossing that border. But uh, essentially, there's another border that is um, that is about 50 miles to the north, and we call it the interior check system or the interior checkpoint. And so once all these people get across the river, they then now have to make a, another journey across to this, this next— um, uh, kind of, kind of to, like a second to, to border, an interior border. And you say one of your uh, one of your neighbors found about a hundred bodies over the years on their that, ranch. What ages are they? What, that, what are they up to? No, that's that's correct. We've seen uh, bodies. Uh, we don't find this many. It's all based on where you're geographically located and how it uh, how people travel and, and and where you are as to where the bodies are found. But um, we find more like two to three, but I mean, I don't know, that's still enough. Absolutely. Um, some people are, are finding up to, you know, like I, like you said, a neighbor of mine has um, been uh, finding close to 10 a year wow. for the last 10 years. So with these, um, you I say mean, that these are men between number. the 20 and their 40s. They would never qualify well, for no, asylum. Right now it is. Right. Right now it is, uh, Brian. It, it's not always that way. Uh, in fact, right now, we're seeing hardly any children or women because of everything that's going on on the river. The, those those people aren't having to to make this journey. They are being, you know, they, they can uh, claim asylum. The women and children can, and and they're being bused places right now. Right. Uh, there's a real kind of a, 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 a little bit more of a dangerous situation. You have just kind of single men, males right. coming up and. Um, and you know it's 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 just there's a sense of fear that exists down here all the time. It's it's a it's, it's a terrible it's, situation. It's not we, fair, and that's why you're looking to try to pass a law uh, to try to stop this smuggling, to put more teeth in the law for what Texas can do to smugglers. What does that law sound like? What does it read yeah. like? Yeah, that's right. Um, so it's uh, it's we're, it's a state it's a state law. Um, it's HB 687, and uh, we, we're. We're real fortunate that we got a uh, we got a hearing for it uh, yesterday, and what it does is it, it basically helps um, uh, penalize smugglers and it provides protections for uh, immigrants. And um, you know it it um, it allows our local law enforcement to do um, instead of it it, it helps them improve the penalty on gotcha or strengthen the penalty on trespassing. Yep. And um, from a state level, and it gives our local law enforcement ability to to do more with, with gotcha. you know, with the situation. All right, we'll look forward to following about that. Everyone looks at the river and the border, but there's a second border, and you just uh, enlightened us on that. Whit Jones, thanks so much. Thank you, Brian. Have All a right. good day. You got it.